What's up, everybody? Hi, my name is Mitchell Coleman. I'm an alcoholic, and I have your daily reflections for April 2nd. This one is based off of step four, made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. This reflection is titled Character Building. Demands made upon other people for too much attention, protection, and love can only invite domination or revulsion. From the 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 44. When I uncovered my need for approval in the fourth step, I didn't think it should rank as a character defect. I wanted to think of it more as an asset, that is, the desire to please people. It was quickly pointed out to me that this need can be very crippling. Today I still enjoy getting the approval of others, but I am not willing to pay the price I used to pay to get it. I will not bend myself into a pretzel to get others to like me. If I get your approval, that's fine, but if I don't, I will survive without it. I am responsible for speaking what I perceive to be the truth, not what I think others may want to hear. Similarly, my false pride always kept me overly concerned about my reputation. Since being enlightened in the AA program, my aim is to improve my character. This is my first reflection I've done, I don't even know in how long now. And this is a perfect one because I've been struggling with trying to get the approval of people and I wasn't like this like I wasn't even like this maybe six months ago definitely not a year two or three years ago it's a journey you know this is always a learning process and it's always going to be that way and, and I've tried to deny certain things I've taken my long sobriety and tried to use that as excuses to um, accept certain things about myself and, and the basic truth is I don't like drinking alcohol. It's just not cool for me. And you know, I was even coming up with excuses about why I, I don't need AA and I do need AA. We can be quick to point out things that are wrong with AA. We can be real quick to point out other people's faults, you know, doing the inventory on others and why we don't need to go to AA. We can also do this in our real lives, our normal lives outside of AA and take this inventory on other people. But really what I'm getting from this one is like, today I still enjoy getting the approval of others, but I'm not willing to pay the price I used to pay to get it. And and as much as I, I don't care what other people think, this is, is true because you do want to please people still. It's one of my weaknesses, I want to please people. I really still want to please people that I've hurt in the past and it can, be definitely crippling and combine that with other things uh, like your mental health and this is real at least for me it is I've I've backtracked pretty bad lately and it's just like I, I haven't been on my medication these aren't excuses but these are real things about like why why am I acting the way I'm acting and then I'm scared to even go to AA because I want the approval of them and I feel like I'm a failure. And I know I'm not and I know it is one day at a time and, and you know, we don't need to care about what other people think about us and that's it. As long as we're living a good life and we're being a good person, even if there's people we've hurt, what are you gonna do? You, you can't change that except the things we can't change and it's so real and it feels good to make one of these videos again and today was a beautiful day and this whole weekend was great and getting to spend time with my kids and you know that is one that's that's who I want to get approval from is my children and there's nothing wrong with that and by seeking that approval I mean I want them to look up to me and be proud of me I want them to look at me and I want to uh, emulate someone that they would like to be like when they get older and even now. And it's so true watching your children imitate you. Those are the people that I want to influence, even though they're their own people. But, you know, I could talk forever about about this. But um, again, Another part is, uh, I am responsible for speaking what I perceive to be the truth, not what I think others may want to hear. And this is real too, because sometimes 
people are real easy to try to uh, discredit a 12-step program or discredit your progress or or even discredit your sobriety and be like you're doing good but you really know the truth inside of you if you're doing well or not and I have not been doing well but that does not change the fact that I can't improve every day and I can't still be good because you know doing this moral inventory on on ourselves is so important because we are the ones that know what we're doing wrong our sponsor can tell us what we're doing wrong but only if we're being truthful with the sponsor and that's why it comes down to you you have to want it you have to change you have to be the one that searches within and sees what mistakes you're making and how you can become a better person and 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 stop seeking the approval of others stop stop trying to get people back that don't want you back and that's okay it doesn't mean they're bad people or you're a bad person it means you just have to let go you got to learn to let go of things and and can continue on with your life and don't sit there and harbor on the past the past is gone it's gone right now is our moment to be better no matter what we've done yesterday or even today every second is that opportunity to change and this is our opportunity to change and i love you guys and i hope to be making more videos i've just been going through a lot you know we all are going through a lot and again i love you guys and it is one day at a time one minute at a time one second at a time this is our time this is your time to change i hope you guys have a good one um happy spring coming up it feels like and that's all i got take care guys bye